Hey guys, my name is Jose, the owner of One More Rep Athletics. I am introducing you guys to the Hybrid League competition, second one that we're having here at this location. The competition is called Hybrid League. I'm trying to create a league where everyone can participate. So, you know, I believe in everyone's has an inner athlete inside of them. If you come here at this gym and work out and you don't believe that you can do something, we'll be here to push you to be even better, to build our confidence. So we, we're the only hybrid gym in the East Coast that welcomes every type of athlete into this gym. The hybrid competition is a mix of different exercises where it comes from powerlifting, calisthenics, CrossFit. I want all the athletes to participate in something that they can do. Everyone that can, works out in any other gym can come and participate in those exercises. So it's not like one specific thing that you have to work on, which is just powerlifting or a CrossFit. It's a mix. So if you go to the gym already and work out, you can do it too. In the competition, the hybrid league competition, the list of routines that needs to be done is the strict press, the dumbbell snatches, the bench press, the squat, the pull-up, and the deadlifts. Now I'm going to demonstrate how everything's going to look like in the routines. So we're going to be going over the pull-ups right now. We got athlete Tuan grabbing onto the bar. Go ahead, Tuan, give us a pull-up. So just hold it on top. His, your nose is going to have to pass the bar for, in order for it to count. All right? So bring it to your forehead. This would not count, all right? So bring it down, Tuan. So right here, this is a complete lockout. It'll count, but you don't have to do that. So show me the, so do a complete pull up, uh, Tuan. Make a complete point, then bring it down. Don't have the complete lockout, right there. Your goal is to break 90. Once you break 90, it counts. You cannot touch the floor and come up. Now, within that one minute, you could take a break. So go ahead, Tuan. So let's say you got 30 seconds left. You could take a break, loosen up, and, you, and within that minute, you're gonna go ahead, jump back up, and you could continue doing the pull-ups. All right, now, you have an option. You can do wide grip or close grip. You can do it within a minute. It does not matter how you start it out. So go ahead, Swan, break your nose right there. Perfect, that, that would count. He's breaking 90. So once you break 90 and you bring your nose over that bar, it's a complete point. Right now, these are called body rolls or Australian rolls. These are for the people who can't do pull-ups, right? So what I'm expecting for people to do is have your legs completely out, right? Your heels on the ground. Now, Tuan is going to do a uh, pull-up right now. Go ahead. Your chest has to touch the bar, all right? You come down, arms fully extended. What I don't want is, go ahead, bend your legs. I don't want to see any swinging, any emotions like that. I don't want to see anything like that. Now, the correct way is feet together, heels on the ground, body straight, and, bring, and chest has to touch the bar. That is all I'm looking for. That's the modification for the pull-up. All right, we're going to be going over the squat in the routine. So go ahead, Alan, get into the bar. Yep, get in position on rack. So when you guys are squatting, I don't want to see anyone coming out of the safety beams. So these safety beams are for people to protect themselves that they can't get it up or whatever. So you can dump it here. So go ahead, Alan, stay inside and go ahead and squat down. I want you to hold it. Right now, Alan is below 90. That would count. So come up a little higher, Alan. That is 90 right here. That would count for a rep in a squat. So go ahead, come up right there. You don't have to come to a complete lockout. You can have your knees slightly bent, just like that. But you can not come on a complete lockout. But what I'm not looking for is, go ahead, um, Alan. Stop, that does not count. Come up, Alan, keep coming up, keep coming up. Right there, stop. I'm not looking for any of that, all right? Keep coming up, Alan, right there, stop. This would work for me. This is a slightly bent knee, so give me a good complete rep. 90, up, perfect. And he comes straight forward inside these safety beams. Now, within that one minute, he put, go ahead, put it back. Let's say 30 seconds went by. Alan is trying to shake it off. His legs are shaking. Boom, boom. All right, Alan, you got 20 seconds left. What are you going to do? You can go back under the bar or you can just use it and call it a day. So go ahead, grab the bar. He has that option to rack the weight back and continue, but you do have one minute to complete the exercise. So go ahead, put it back. That is a squat. All right, Twan, we're not going to be going over the dumbbell snatches. Go ahead and grab the dumbbell. Now what I'm looking for, what we're looking for is Touch the floor, come up, lock out. That is a complete rep. You have an option to alternate arms at each time. Go ahead and alternate the arm. 
that does count. That does still count. What I'm not looking for is, go ahead, don't touch the ground. Right there, that does not count. Those are half reps, all right? Now, he could touch the floor and not lock out and still would not count, right? So you have to touch the ground and you have to do a complete lockout for it to count, all right? What, let's avoid touching the ground and bowing your back. Let's avoid that, all right, because that can cause injury. Use your legs, bend down the correct way, so make sure that we're staying safe in this routine. This is what we're looking for. We're gonna be going over the bench press. Now, this exercise is one of my favorite ones, all right? So, what I am looking for, before we unrack the bar, I want the feet completely on the ground, touching at all times. I want your lower back on the bench at all times. I don't want to see no arch. Once I see a bow arch, so give me a bow arch. All right, I don't want to see a bow arch, all right, because you're going to limit the range of motion. I don't want the limitation of range of motion. Now, once you bring a bow arch, the bow, your elbows won't break 90, all right? I want to see you guys break 90. So keep your back flat against the bench, all right? Head on the, the bench. Unrack the bar, Alan. Good, now bring it down. Touch your chest, come back up. One more time, hold it on your chest. You see how your elbow is below the bench. That is a complete rep, all right? Now, put the bar back. Now, what I want you to do, Alan, is to show the people how we're going to show them what not to do. So I want you to give me a complete arch of a, a, a normal power lifting uh, position, all right? I want a bigger arch, a lot of people like to do. Now, pick up the bar. Now, go ahead and touch. Good. Now, you just limit the range of motion. Your elbows is not even below the bench. You're limited the range of motion, which is not going to count. So, I want, you see how I can put my arm underneath the back? I don't want to see that. Now, put it back up and re-rack it. That is what not to do on the bench press. Good job, Alan. All right, we're, we're gonna be going over the strict press. Go ahead, Swan, grab the bar. All right, now, I want you guys to start with a neutral stance. I do not want you guys to start in a split stance because that's a lot of push-offs. So now, go back to the neutral stance. Great, the bar should be in this position at your nose with the neutral stance. Go ahead, Swan, lock it out to your nose. Now, what I'm not looking for is Bring it down or any push press. Go ahead, give me a push press. I don't want to see that. All right? Give me nice and controlled. So bring it to your nose and bring it up. Lock out. Perfect. Now, even if you bring it to your nose and you do not lock out, that does not count. You have to have a complete lockout in order for it to work, for it to count. Perfect. Good job, Swan. All right, guys. We're going to be going over the last exercise, the deadlifts. That deadlift is always last. Now, it's going to be looking like this, a face-off, all right? When we're doing the deadlifts, one person on the other side and the other on the other side. Now, I want you guys to get in, get in position and grab the bar. All right, now, this is how deadlifts looks like. Perfect form. Now, come up, guys. Lock out, good. Now, as you can see, they're both standing up straight, locked out position. This is the correct way of doing the deadlifts. What I'm not looking for is, go ahead and go down, don't touch the ground. See how they do not touch the ground? That does not count. Now, go ahead, guys, touch the ground. Touch it. Now, come up and do not lock out. That does not count. They are not in the locked out position. They have to stand up straight. Go ahead, stand up straight. Now, in order for you to find out if they're, if they're locking it out, if their knees are straight, their glutes are engaged, and their chest is sticking up. Now we know they have complete, uh, did the complete lockout on the deadlifts. Now go ahead guys, let go of the weight. Now for the deadlifts, uh, we're gonna be doing body weight and also 0.5 over the body weight and for others 1.5. We're gonna be going for more points, the, but you have to hit your reps for eight or more. Now for all the routines, all right, we have certain numbers you have to hit in order for the points to start counting, all right? So certain exercises like the dumbbell snatches, is 21 reps. Now the points don't start after you hit the 21 rep, all right? 
So everyone have their modifications, everyone has a point system they have to follow and their weight they would have to be using. Now, is the deadlifts and the squats and everything that we're doing here, everyone is gonna be on each side facing each other. My name is Jose Laura, the owner of Womo Rep Athletics, the home of the Hybrid League. Uh, the address of the gym is 14th Partridge Place in Roxbury. All right, it's, you can check us out by right off Dudley in the alley. Google us, you can find us on Google, Google Maps. I wanna make sure you type in Roxbury, you can find us. One more rep athletics. We'll be seeing you soon.